Hey everyone, it's Quig from Gridit. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add measurements to your logo design grids. So the measurements is actually an inbuilt feature in Adobe Illustrator. The feature is called Dimensions and it's actually in beta. And the Dimensions has three tools. We have Linear Dimension, Angular Dimension, Radial Dimension and Tool Options. Just a quick note, I believe this is only in Adobe Illustrator 2024. Um, I'm not too sure about if it's in 2023, but um, I'm definitely sure it's in 2024. Again, it's still in beta. Um, it feels very polished. It doesn't feel as if it's, it's, it's a beta. So what we want to do is let's just grid this logo actually. So let's do generate all. You can see you have this great grid. Um, I actually increased the anchor size to double because the default was 10, but I'm using such a large artboard. So I increased it to 20. And then I'm just going to go to layers and I'm going to hide everything apart from the outlines because I want this skeleton of the logo. Um, this can be easy to see my grid components. So you want to just use the linear tool. So with the linear tool, you want to click one anchor to another anchor and then drag it out. So it measures the dimension that you selected. So there you can see it has 600 pixels and then say I want to do the same for this but instead I want it to be angled so you can see it has a, an angle here and that's because the path is slightly angled but if I don't want if I don't want it to have the angle what I can do is just bring my mouse cursor up and align it with the straight side then it generates a more um, straight smart guides so these are actually smart guides i believe all the purple lines and then again the circle you can do the same thing i don't know if you can do it angulated no you can't so you can just bring it out it's how i like to draw my grids not necessarily measuring every side um, because typically logo design is repetition so people would figure out that that's just the same as this um, but for this scenario um should we do a, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this Let's make this one actually straight. I'm not really a big fan of um, giving it the awkward angles. Um, I think it looks just a bit tacky, but yeah. So then doing the same, you have this angulated one. Don't really want to do that. And I'll show you why after. So then we can just do that. So now you can see we've used successfully used the linear dimension tool. Now let's use the angular dimension tool. So the angular dimension tool again is also quite um, easy so what you want to do is click an anchor so for example we click this and then we just click and hold and drag it out and it measures this angle over here then you can see it creates the angle and then we can do the same for this but this one is going all the way around so it measures the angle then have we already measured that one I don't believe we have. Oh, I believe we have, yeah. Ready up top. But we can just do that again. And then we can just measure inside. So we've got a 90 degrees angle there. And we can do the same here as well. So that's really it for the angular dimension tool. Very simple. It's li literally just clicking and dragging until you've got the size that you want. Um, again, you can see here, yeah, very simple. So now we can use the radial dimension tool. So this is the third one. So radial dimension tool is a bit of a unique one, a specific one. So it's mainly only for circles, of course, because it's radial. So you kind of just want to find a rounded shape and click on the curved part of it. So it would only work for rounded um, edges, not only circles, but rounded edges too. So if I was to just click there you can see the dotted lines where it's going to draw a measurement so if i just click there actually let me click here because there's more space okay maybe not but yeah you can see it has the line over there and the same if i was to do this you don't with this you don't actually have to click an anchor and then click somewhere else all you have to do is find a curved edge and then you just click and then it will just measure the radial um, measurements. So that's really how you use the free tools. 
Now with the tool options, tool options is very cool. So prior to this, before knowing about the tool options, I used to go and change each setting manually. So let me just briefly show you the properties. So let me close this. You can also dock your logo grid generator up top there. So with the properties, if you was to if you want to customize each component, so this is gonna be I believe the angular um, dimension tool. So you can see we have color, um, we have dimension text color, we have dimension text dimension, sorry, extension line color and dimension line color as well. Then we also have the line weight. Then you have all of these settings, um, line type. So let's see which this one is. Yeah. So for the circles, for the angular ones, we can just like, click all of these and you can see how when you're when I'm clicking all of these all of these properties are still here however I believe if I was to okay you still can customize it so I'm just gonna can I use the eye drop tool no I can't so what you want to do is just I've just changed the setting so everything has the dot all the angles have dotted lines um, but yeah so those were all the settings and then you can also do it separately um, for these then you can also choose the arrow style um, arrow style is something cool that i like to do um, but not only that can you do the arrow style you can see it there but you can also these lines you can also hide them so if you do hide extension lines it just measures that but this looks a bit weird because it doesn't you can't really tell that it's measuring the circle so i would say it's probably best to do if you want to use it to do it for something like that's right next to it maybe even possibly closer that you know that it's for that but yeah there's so many settings and as i mentioned you have the tool options um the dimension tool options then you have all the settings so you don't have to manually go in all the time to customize it you can just do it here so every time you create a line then it generates again i think this is the most polished beta I've used um, I think it's very simple I was surprised when they called it beta but I think um, Adobe done a great job with this so that's how you add measurements to your logo design grids